Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, let's quickly fill you in on what's been happening. We are Jarvis and Anna, high school sweethearts exploring our love for the outdoors through our travels. We are currently driving the North Coast 500 route in Scotland and making our way down the West Coast. So far, we've hiked to remote beaches, swam in freezing cold water, and slept in quaint B&Bs. Emphasis on the quaint. <laughs> you look like you don't know what to do. And today we attempt to scale a wee Scottish mountain. Good morning. Today we're climbing Stack Pollard. It's about 600 meters high. I think the trip should take one hour there and then one hour back. One hour if you're fit, one and a half if you have a leisurely stroll. <laughs> Let's see which one it will be. <laughs> we'll start the timer. It's 11.40. We just left the car park, but the climb is already quite steep. After about 10 minutes into the walk, the path splits in half. You can go either left, which is the more muddy and unpaved walk, or right, which is supposed to be a little easier. Easier right, one? Right. <laughs> We're definitely not going to have this view for ourselves. There are many people here. Everyone had the same idea. Yeah, it's a good day for it. So it makes sense. It's actually a perfect day. As you can tell from what I'm wearing. <laughs> this is enough for this, this walk. Your winter, summer, autumn, fall attire. <laughs> cool. Arish will wear this when it's snowing outside. It doesn't mean it is warm. Every step is like doing a little squat. The top is within arm's reach at the moment. As you can see, the path is getting a lot rockier. The path is dotted with big boulders. This is the fun part. <laughs> All the way to the top. very long antlers. Now we're hiking up the back of Stack Pollard and it should be an amazing view from up there. I can't wait to see it. I feel my glutes. It's getting steeper. I see a lot of people doing this hike sticks, which is quite a good idea because then you can balance the weight between your arms and legs and your glutes don't burn quite as much I think. But I don't mind the glute burning, all those gluting hit workouts have paid off. <laughs> <laughs> View. I don't know where to look. It's beautiful. Off to the top with hands and feet. at the top of the mountain but I've read that you can actually climb the peaks the pinnacles it's a very narrow path to get up there but we're gonna give it a try
we started the walk at 11.40. And it's now 2 o'clock. That means it took us 2 hours and 20 minutes. We stopped a lot along the way to take pictures. We really took our time. I think if you were to walk non-stop, that's one half hour is reasonable. And honestly, with all of the beautiful view around you, I don't see why you should rush it. It's just take your time, enjoy it. And if you have lovely weather like we're having today, you can't complain. We've decided to take the other route back down to see what that route's all about. Down is always trickier than up. Look how far we've come. It's crazy what you can do in just a matter of minutes. This path is clearly the muddier of the two and it's also not as well defined. So we're back to the start of the hike. This morning we took the route on the left and now we arrived from the right. It was a pretty eventful day. I really enjoyed the hike. Yeah, it was a good one. So we're going to close out this part of the vlog here and see you in Alpo. Tartar sauce, homemade, mushy peas, and the main course, Ooh, fish and chips. Wow, that is massive. Is that supposed to be for one person? Did you order large? Large for one person. Wow, that's a lot. The fish yeah. is good, cooked very well. Not too long, not too short. It's flaky. The chips are mwah. All right. And the mushy peas? The mushy peas are... Mm. <laughs> They're it's okay. not your favorite. <laughs> <laughs>